Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Working on an 09 Lamborghini uh, Marcielago today. It's pretty dirty. Uh, specifically, I'm working on this area. You can see that he has hit something and it's all kinds of scratched up. Fortunately, uh, he hit something uh, when he had clear film on the outside, which is uh, one of the biggest benefits. Um, I don't love paint protective film, but in situations like this, like this is the only way that that uh, rocker panel body kit piece uh, is going to be looking good after an issue like this is having paint protection film on it. It's got some nasty spots where it's gone all the way through, uh, but I'm really hoping that by the time I take that PPF off there, paint protective film, um, that panel will be good and I can just do a light polish and we're in good shape. Uh, so the plan is to clean it up. Basic detail, I maintain this car, you guys have seen it in lots of videos, uh, but specifically to fix that. So uh, I'm going to go get my wash bucket ready. I'm probably going to take care of this prior to the wash, uh, but I got my heat gun, so I'm going to take that paint protective film off that spot and then we will assess the damage after I get the paint protective film off. All right, so I got you set up. I got my heat gun right here. I'm gonna find the corner where paint protective film starts, which I have found, which is right here. Let's see, sorry about the lack of light, but you can see the paint protective film right there is peeling off. So I'm gonna get you set up where you can see me pull the film. So I'm gonna pull it until it like gives me an issue. Then I'll start using the heat gun. It's very important that you be very careful when you're pulling paint protective film off because I literally have pulled paint right off the panel. So I'm gonna be careful here and pull the paint protective film off. Um, it may leave some residue behind, which is no problem, I'll use my infinite purpose cleaner for that when it starts popping like that you know you need to get your heat gun out however I'm gonna be cautious well I'm gonna go ahead and heat it a little bit because this is gonna basically gum up that adhesive so that it's easier for me to pull it off the panel make the adhesive easier to separate Nice and warm, coming off really nice. Oh, we do got a scratch. Sure do, Let's see what I can do with that. Very easy, there we go. You just gotta take your time and be patient with paint protection, paint protective film too hot and it's a problem, too cold and it's a problem, just warm it up a little bit and then pull it very slowly, very slowly. There we go and then here we go. All right, here we go. Now, I'm gonna get some Infinite Purpose Cleaner and a towel, get all this residue off and see what is left for paint or scratches or whatever. So I'll be right back. All right, I got the paint protective film off, as you can see, and I removed all of the residue because there was a bunch of residue in here and there was a bunch of residue in there. Uh, I removed all that with the uh, infinite purpose cleaner so it's in in great shape but you can still see the scratches that was left behind sorry about the lighting and it removed a chunk of paint right there but let's see what I can't do to at least make that not as visible really not a problem compared to how it looked before through the paint protective film so 
I'm gonna go ahead and get my polisher set up and see what I can do about that. All right, I'm gonna get started with this polishing situation. You see my polisher sitting there. It's the Harbor Freight DA. It's a workhorse. It's a four inch orange buff and shine pad on a three and a half inch backing plate. I sell the pads and backing plates on detailjuice.com. It's a random LED headlamp. Just gonna fire that up so that we got some light over here. We can see everything happening. Go ahead and put you down. There we go. Boom. All right, cool. This is a sample of, I won't show you what it says, but this is the brand new Grip Launch Universal Polish All-in-One. Previously unreleased. Just gonna get a little on there and go to town. Using uh, speed five there. Ooh, that stuff is slick. I like it. It's good stuff. All right, so looks good, but I don't think I'll be able to remove the scratches that are there. That's a problem. They're really deep, and the big paint chunk that's missing. That sucks. But I think that once a new piece of paint protective film is put over it, it'll look a lot better without question. But that's all that happened from that big spot. So I don't feel like stepping up the abrasive to go to infinite cut is going to do any better than this. It's just a crazy deep scratch. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, so I went over it to smooth it out. It did a little bit of work. Um, I mean, it is what it is at this point, unfortunately. It's just what's left. So I'm going to leave it alone because I don't feel like I can fix it. In fact, there's a body line right here. And I feel like the closer that that... You know, the closer you get to the body line, the thinner the paint is anyway, versus a flat section. So I'm just going to leave it. I don't feel like I can fix it um, with any kind of decent percentage. Uh, but I would absolutely be able to uh, make it look worse. And that's not the business that I'm in. So I'm going to leave it. But that's it. Not a whole lot you can do. But it looks better with the scratch on the paint, the one scratch, than it does with all those scratches on the paint protective film. So that's it. If you guys got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. Uh, this is Gary Dean from DetailJuice.com, working on this 09 Lamborghini Marcielago. Um, paint protection uh, film removal. Uh, if you guys got questions about that, I've done that lots of times. It's no big deal. You just have to pay attention and not you know be impatient so you don't damage the paint underneath but no big deal it comes off and then you know dealing with scratches you can always do too much but I've never had someone complain that I did too little if that makes any sense I always do what I feel in my gut is the right thing to do and I stop most of the time I stop at the right time to not damage or make something look worse um, 
So that's all you can do, is the best that you can do. So you got questions, 813-846-4406, or check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. There's a group on Facebook where we talk about only me, my products, and what I've got going on. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.